What's up, y'all? Welcome to the channel. Um, today, I got to install the radiator on the IS250. I did the water pump and realized the water pump really didn't even need to be changed, but well, I got a new water pump now. Did all that, then the leak was actually coming from the radiator. The radiator had that obvious leak, so I had to get it on. So, got a new water pump the radiator. Got to put the radiator in. Sorry, I couldn't make a video on how to remove it because I didn't have anyone to hold the camera. But now I'm gonna put the new one in. I just got it today, so wish me luck on that because y'all know I ain't no mechanic. I finally got the new radiator for the IS250. Ordered it from carparts.com. Just came in the mail. Well, I gotta cut these things off and get it out the box. This is the old one. Luckily, I didn't throw the old one away because I have to take these rubber things off to put it on a new one because it didn't come with these two things. But now I got to install it. Remember, I'm no mechanic, so I just had to figure this out. There's no videos on the internet on how to remove it, so I had to figure it out on my own. So I got to figure out how to put it back in on my own. Hopefully, I get everything right. Okay, so the radiator's fixed, and the car seems to be running pretty well. I don't see anything leaking. So far, I don't see anything leaking. Remember, I still gotta get a starter. Still gotta fix this windshield. I'm not sure if the starter's all the way bad or going bad, because the car's running now. Let's see if it starts now, and let's shut it off. Yep, start is bad. As you can see, the car didn't start. I just try to start it and it won't start. So definitely need a new starter. But we're one step further along the way. At least now we're not overheating. I got the radiator fixed. Now I gotta get a starter, windshield, engine mounts. And man, it never ends with this car. Stay tuned.